What is the fastest way you have seen someone destroy their life? My ex decided to go to a huge music festival by herself. At the time a part of what brought us together was substance use and we had used a lot of hardcore stuff. I had started to use less at some point. She ate mushrooms with our friends while I wasn't there and had a really bad trip. Her dad took his life when she was only 8 and during this bad trip she began believing he was there with her. I remember while she was at this festival I called her and found out she was using which wasn't a surprise. She seemed so happy and carefree describing the amazing music and art and sending me pictures of herself smiling ear to ear. The day she was supposed to drive home I never heard anything from her. I waited a whole night and I'll never forget when her mom called me and explained what was going on. My ex had a full-blown schizophrenic break and could not stop tripping. She had been manic constantly with her friends and was likely very scared in some way. Halfway home she was hallucinating and acting delusional. She apparently took all her clothes off and was trying to grab the driver's steering wheel. Our friends knew they needed to get help and they contacted her mom who I think drove out to like Iowa to pick her up. This was only the beginning. It turned out she had tried blow and K for the first time, while also eating mushrooms and having grass all simultaneously. Her mental state did not recover anytime soon. She was not the same when she got home and was both confused and extremely manic. Over the next three months she would have daily recurring thought loops that she would vocalize and you could tell she was very scared. I received threatening calls from her stepdad and cousin who would accuse me of continuing to supply her with substances. Her cousin woke me up at 3 a.m. begging me to just confess what I was giving her because he wanted his cousin back and she was acting delusional all night. She could barely sleep. She was sent to a psych ward at the University of Utah for people on sewer slide watch and an extreme mental duress. She started on medication and I remember her coming down from her hallucinations and verbal loops after four weeks, but it was like she was so shook and reserved and she acted quite different. I think it was so confusing for her trying to remember what happened because she was truly not able to sense or verbalize anything normally for so long. I remember feeling so relieved and happy when things had been normal for a few months. I broke up with her and found out later she took her life. She left a note, thanking me for being there for her, but said she could not live without me.